Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Garibaldi and I am here for Thursday's math lesson. So you are going to need your Envisions Volume 2 and we are going to be turning to page 485. Okay, so make sure you have a crayons or pencils and your workbook and we're going to be on 485. I'm going to share my screen so that you can see that. All right, and here we go. So page 485 and you're going to see a bunch of different shapes. Let me make it straight here. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. All right, straighten it up a smidge. All right, my friends, you're going to see some 3D figures on one side and some 2D shapes on the other side, okay? And I'm gonna read the directions to you, and if you happen to um, not be on that page yet, you can pause me, okay? But if you're ready, let's go. So you're going to see these shapes and the directions say draw a circle around two of the shapes on the work mat. You're going to name the shapes and then you're going to find those shapes in your house. Okay, then you're going to draw a picture of the objects and their surroundings. Okay, so I think that I'm going to draw a circle around. Hmm. Let's see. I really love I love the cylinder. So I'm going to draw a circle around the cylinder, and then I think, hmm, I might choose, maybe I'll draw a flat one. I'm looking around to see, hmm, oh, I'm going to show you. If I zoom up here, you can see I have, um, I'm going to zoom in a smidge here, oops. <laughs> there. I'm going to draw a circle around the circle because I'm going to use my um, little dream catcher that I made as the circle. All right, here we go. Back down. Oh boy, I think I loosened that up a smidge. Okay, so the circle that I found is the dream catcher and it kind of looks like that. It's got a little, and then it has a crystal in the middle, and then it almost looks like a little bit of a spider web around. Choop, choop, choop. It has some danglies here at the bottom. <laughs> All right, so that was the circle. And then the cylinder that I have that I like is my cup that I put my pencils and my crayons in. So I'm just going to draw the cup. Keeps getting loosened. Oh, I know. That's why. Okay. So here's my cup. And then it has all my colored pencils and some are short, some are tall. There we go. Okay, so if you're not done, go ahead and pause um, the video. But if you are done, you can go ahead and turn the page. We're going to go to page 486. 486. All righty. So I will read you the directions and then we will do it together. It says Have students mark an X on the object next to the pencil that looks like a rectangle. Ooh. So I'm gonna read that again. You're gonna mark an X on the object that's next to the pencil that looks like a rectangle, okay? Then you're gonna draw an object that looks like a square in front of the mug, okay? So you're gonna see, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, so you'll notice that the author has already put an X on the rectangle that's next to the pencil, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll trace over the author's X. Then it wants you to put something that's shaped like a square in front of the coffee mug. So let's think of what could we make that's shaped like a square? Hmm, something that's shaped like a square. What do you think? Maybe like a coaster? We could put the coffee cup on it. <laughs> Maybe we could have 
it be like a little note or maybe, I don't know, there's lots of different options. Holy smokes. I think that maybe I want it to be a coaster. And so I'm just going to draw like a little birdie on it because I have some birdie coasters at my house. And so then that way, here we go. Choop. Little bird. So then we can put that coffee cup on the coaster. It bothers me the coffee cup's not on a coaster. <laughs> All right, my friends, are you ready? Now it says, draw an object that looks like a cone next to the table. So we're going to draw an object next to the table that is shaped like a cone. All right, so something that is shaped like a cone. We could even draw a, like a traffic cone. Jacob had one of those at our live lesson on, um, was that Tuesday? I think that was on Tuesday we did that. So we're gonna draw a little traffic cone here. Traffic cone, oh, and I guess it kind of does go like this a little bit, but it's like lighter. Perfect, there's our traffic cone. If you want, you could color it maybe orange or red or yellow. Traffic cones are usually bright colors so people see them. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna, I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna turn the page to page 487, 487. Here we go. So let's take a look at, I think, the, I think that's Jackson. I think that's his name is Jackson. So let's take a look at Jackson. And it says, have students name the shape of the objects in the picture and use position words to describe their location. Okay, so let's do that first. So let's see, what shape do we see? Oh, I see this sphere. Or I guess it could be a circle because uh, it does look like it could be flat. But I'm going to think that it's a ball with stars on it. So I'm going to say it's a sphere. And so this sphere is next to Jackson's feet. Okay. So this sphere is next to Jackson's feet. This cylinder is next to the sand castle. So the cylinder is next to the sand castle. And it looks like Jackson is inside the square. All right, so that's what they wanted us to do. They want us to use those positional words to describe the location of these shapes and figures, okay? So now it says, draw an X on the object in front of the sandcastle that looks like a cylinder. All right, so they just described it really well for us. They said, it's an object that's in front of the sandcastle that looks like a cylinder. Do you see it? I see it too. Let's put an X on that. Perfect. Now, the next thing they want us to do is to draw an object that looks like a sphere beside Jackson. Okay, so, hmm a sphere that is beside Jackson. So I'm gonna put it over here where it's like beside him, like right next to him. And so I'm gonna draw a ball. Maybe I'll draw a baseball. Baseballs are pretty easy to draw. Okay, so I drew an object that looks like a sphere next to Jackson. And then we're gonna draw an object that looks like a rectangle next to the sandbox. So something that looks like a rectangle next to the sandbox. So maybe we'll put it down here. And we could do, maybe we'll do a notebook. Maybe he was doing some of his uh, writing outside and he decided to play in the sandbox. So let's draw, we'll draw his writing journal. <laughs> so we'll give it a black side. And then it's got some like squigglies, it's just, like black and then it has choop choop. All right, so there is his, oops, it's hard to see. Sorry, friends. I gotta do it in pencil though so that I can reuse this for our live lesson. So I drew his um, little writing journal next to the sandbox. I made it small. You can make it big too if you wanted to. All righty. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn to page 489. If you're not done, you can pause the video, okay? All right, so let's keep going. 400. Oh, and 88, sorry, 488. So on number three, 
it says, point to objects in the picture and name each shape, and then draw a circle around the objects that look like a cylinder, okay? So let's zoom in on this picture on number three, and let's look at all the objects, and we're gonna put an X on all the objects, oop, no, draw a circle around all the objects that look like a cylinder, sorry about that. Circles around the cylinders. All right, so is this a cylinder? Yeah, so let's put a circle around it. Is that a cylinder? No, that's a funnel. How about those? No. What about that guy? Ooh, paper towels though. Yep, they are. Ooh, a can of paint? That's a cylinder. Hmm. No, that's a triangle. That's a circle. Ooh, here's another cylinder. No, what about that guy? He looks more like a cone. All right, and now it says put an X on the objects that look like a cone. Oh, we saw those. So this one looks like a cone. I don't, I think this looks more like a triangle than a cone. So I'm not gonna put an X on that because that looks like a flat triangle. That's not a cone. Cones have um, a circle bottom and a pointy top. And this just looks like it has three sides. All right, and this looks like a cone as well. All right, let's move on to number four. And we're gonna do something similar on number four. It says, mark an X on the object below the tree that looks like a rectangle. I see it, do you see it? The object that's below the tree that looks like a rectangle? This guy definitely looks like a rectangle. And then, it says, draw an object that looks like a circle above the tree. Oh, I could do that. I could draw a sun above the tree. Here's the sun. Okay. And then draw an object that looks like a triangle behind the fence. Hmm. Here we go. So behind the fence, I'm going to draw a triangle. Maybe, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to draw a swing set. Choo, choo, choo. It's like a swing set. <laughs> there we go. We did it. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. All right. Now, we're actually going to skip um, page 489 because we don't have the materials necessarily for it. All right, because we don't have the, um, the counters that it requires. But if you wanted to make them at home, you and your family members could play this game on page 489, if you would like, okay? So 489, it's an optional game that you can play with your families. So go ahead, let's turn the page to page 490. We're gonna keep going. Today's a little bit longer because we wanna get through some of this um, because I have some things planned. I wanna make sure that we get through all of our math. All right, my friends, so stick with me. If you need to pause and take a break, you can always pause the video and come back later when you're ready, okay? So you don't have to do the whole math lesson at once. You can take some breaks. Okay, because I know sometimes this can be a little long. All right, my friends, let's go. Let's take a look. It says for number one, have students mark an X on the object above the bed that looks like a cube. All right, so let's take a look. Above the bed that looks like a cube. Let me zoom in so we can see that. So above the bed, well, this is on the bed, right? These are on the bed. And this looks like a rectangle and this looks like a square. And so we need to go above the bed. So on this bookshelf, which one of these looks like a cube? Yeah, this guy, right? So I'm gonna circle him, I'm gonna circle that cube. Now it says draw a shape that looks like a rectangle next to the bed. So next to, next to is usually like beside. You could use the word beside as well, but next to. Okay, so let's draw something that is a rectangle next to the bed. Well, I'm just gonna draw maybe a nightstand or something over here. A little drawer. There, there's my rectangle. <laughs> All right, my friends, let's turn the page to page 491. I'm going too fast. Go ahead and pause the video. 
and then you can start me whenever you're ready. So let's look at number, let's look at number two. Okay, you'll see a little shelf here and it has some objects. It has a bowling ball and a little birdie and then a canister that looks like maybe it has tennis balls in it. All right, so on number two, it says, name the shape, shapes of the objects in the picture, and then have them mark an X on the object that is beside, oh, sorry, behind another object. All right, because these are positional words we're working on today. All right, so you're going to name the shapes of the objects in the picture and then put an X on the object that is behind another object. Okay, so let's look at this. I have a, the bowling ball is what kind of shape? A sphere. This little birdie is what kind of shape? A cone. And then this canister here is a cylinder. Nice. So which object, we need to put an X on the object that is behind another object and next to the object that looks like a cylinder. Which one is that? Yeah, if you said bowling ball, you're right. Because the bowling ball is behind the little birdie and next to the cylinder. Excellent job. All right, let's look at number three. You're going to find the object in the picture that is not beside the box of tissues. Okay, so we need to find the object that is not next to the box of tissues. Well, that one's next to the tissues. That one's next to the tissues. Is that one next to the tissues? Not, not directly, no. It's not. And so then it says, mark an X on the solid it looks like on the left. Okay, so this is what we're kind of looking at, that shape there, okay? So now we're going to look at these solid shapes, and we're going to put an X on the solid shape, one of these, that looks like this. So what does this look like? Does it look like a cylinder, a sphere, or a cube? A cylinder, so let's put an X on that. Good work. All right. Let's go ahead and turn the page. Almost done. This is our last page, you guys, so stay with me. You're doing great. So take a look. This is four, five, and six on this page, and I'm going to read the directions, and this one you're going to do um, on your own, okay? I might give you a little bit of help if the directions are confusing, but this is the page that you're going to be taking a picture of and uploading to Edsby. Okay, friends? Here we go. All right, Carlos wants to tell a friend about different things in the locker room and where they are located. What words can he use? Okay, so next to, above, beside, under, right? Maybe on, like this one's on the wall, underneath the clock, right? This one is on the bench, next to the cube. This ball is under the bench and behind the water bottle. So you can use lots of different words to describe the location of these objects, okay? So number four, mark an X on the object that looks like a cylinder that is beside the object that looks like a cube. I'm gonna read that again and I want you to really listen, okay? This is more a listening <laughs> lesson than anything else. So listen very carefully, I'll go slow. Mark an X on the object that looks like a cylinder that is beside the object that looks like a cube. Mark an X on the cylinder that is next to the cube. Perfect, all right, here we go. Carlos says the soccer ball is behind the water bottle. What is another way we can explain where the water bottle is? Hmm. I think on that one, we could say the water bottle is under the bench in front of the soccer ball. Would that work? Yeah. All right. So. Here we go. 
Carlos describes the rectangle poster as being above the circle clock. Do you agree or disagree? So here's what you're gonna do for number six. Listen carefully, okay? So right now you just have one X on your paper that is Xing out the object that looks like a cylinder that's, behind, that's beside the cube. On this one, you have to tell me whether you agree, down here, agree or disagree. So Carlos describes the rectangle poster, okay, as being above the circle clock. So is this rectangle circle above this, or, sorry, is this rectangle poster above the circle clock? So do you agree or disagree, okay? You're going to write over here either agree, you agree with him and the, um, the poster is above the circle clock, or you're gonna write disagree. And here are the words that you can copy, okay? You're either gonna say agree or disagree, okay? And that is what your assignment is today. Then you'll snap a picture of this guy, you'll upload him to Edsme, and you're done with your math today. So I know that that was a little bit of a longer lesson. I'm so happy you were able to stick with me because we have amazing things that we're planning on doing for the rest of the year and I wanna make sure we get to all of our math. Okay, friends, I wish you well. I love you, I miss you, and I hope to see you at tomorrow's live lesson. Have a great day, goodbye.